Okay, now we get to do the fun part. This is what it's all about, right? So everybody's got this little knob on the side or some weights in the back and one thing that really surprised me is how sensitive this anti-skating is. Um, the difference between like 2.1 and 2.3 actually makes it move quite a bit. So, you know, where I was guessing, you know, I could have been off at least half a point before at least. And uh, now I know it's true. I've got it set to where it's zeroed. So I can take this and set it down just about anywhere on there and it's going to stay right where it's supposed to. It's not going to um, drag one way or another. And that's where the anti-skate comes in. As I, There's no forces pushing that needle to one side of the track or the other, so it's not going to affect the sound. You want it to sit right in the bottom of that valley. So as you can see, if I rotate this, I can make it pitch one way or another. Now I'm only changing that degrees. This is like 2.5, this is 2.0. So you can see it's, it's minimal, the difference. And you know, some people say 1.5. Well, you never know unless you test it. So on this particular turntable, it lands right around 2.1. So basically you just wanna dial it in to where you get it to where it's balanced nice in the middle, and then test it. Place it on the outside does it stay? Place it in the center, does it stay? Place it all the way on the inside, does it stay? That's when you know you have it dialed in exactly and you're ready to go and you know you're going to get that the best sound possible out of your needle. And that's as simple as it is.